Thank you so much for tuning in on today's video. I'm really proud of you for showing up just to learn more about your self-healing journey. And being here is absolutely an act of self-love, so I commend you for that. Let's go ahead and get into it. So how did a penny start my healing journey? How was it the catalyst that set me off into this beautiful future that I was about to experience? Well, to make a long story short, I had suddenly become very ill with a medley of chronic symptoms. I was going from doctor to doctor and either being diagnosed with every single thing that these doctors specialized in or going to other doctors who told me I was healthy as a horse. And so as you can imagine, I felt completely defeated, alone, in pain, and I was basically at my wit's end. So I'm at home and I walk into my big walk-in closet at the time. It was carpeted and I guess I wanted to be in a confined space so that I could just scream and cry and just not feel like anyone could hear me, even though no one was home. But I walk into the closet and I drop down to my knees and I am screaming and begging and crying to God, please, please God, just give me a sign. Give me a sign that everything is going to be okay and I promise you once I find the answers, I will do everything in my power to help others. And as I am asking God to give me a sign, remember I'm on my knees, I look down and perfectly centered right in between my knees on the carpet, face up is a penny that says, in God we trust. And so this guy right here, this penny, this was not the actual one, but this penny gave me so much hope. As soon as I saw the penny, I would say about 80% of the anxiety that I was experiencing left my body. God was answering what I was asking of him and it made me think, okay, I am, I am safe. It's going to be okay. And so whoosh, all of these symptoms, these anxiety symptoms that I was experiencing, and I'm not talking about every single physical symptom, but the anxiety which you know does bring on symptoms of its own, left my body almost completely. And the hours after that, I just, I felt better. I felt lighter. Um, I didn't feel as worried and my physical symptoms were a little better. And I just couldn't get over how a simple thought changed the physiological symptoms I was experiencing. And so I became obsessed with this. I'm thinking, okay, if I could get my body to diminish the pain by that much, by just one thought, where else could I take this? And so there started my journey into mind-body connection and neuroplasticity and brain retraining. And it opened up a door, this whole Pandora's box of amazing healing journeys. I mean, if you even just Google healing journeys from brain retraining or neuroplasticity, People have literally been bedridden and then got themselves completely healed through brain retraining and rewiring the thought patterns in their brains. And so here I am today, 10 years later, telling you that your thoughts are the very thing that will start your healing journey. If it's starting to click now because you know, you've know you tried all the healthy foods, you've tried the exercise, you've tried meditating and nothing has worked, it is because your thought patterns are keeping you from healing, right? You're stuck in fight or flight. You are stuck in a sympathetic mode. Your nervous system is not in a rest and digest where it's able to heal. So one thing I wanna leave you with, and this is very important, is in order to start believing and identifying as someone who can heal, the most important thing you can do is separate yourself from your thoughts because you are not your thoughts. Your thoughts are an innate response that happens in every single one of us. It's a primal instinct that no longer serves us. Our brains have barely evolved from way back then when we were having to fight for our lives every single day, yet society has catapulted since then, right? We are evolving. Our society is evolving every single day at astronomical speeds. So there's this huge challenge between the two, and so many people are suffering from it every single day, and I was one of them. 
I was stuck in this chronic fight or flight and these small things throughout the day, we perceive them as these huge threats. And when they accumulate over and over, it develops into you being in a chronic fight or flight stage. And so I want to leave you with separating your thoughts because that in itself is going to catapult you into healing. And so I want you to separate yourself by imagining your thoughts as a movie playing on a screen and you, the observer, is the conscious mind watching the thoughts. So every single day throughout the day, as soon as you catch a negative thought, I want you to think of the movie theater scenario and realize, oh, okay. Like, I get what you're doing. Like, that's a nice subconscious thought, but, you know, you're just a primal instinct and I'm not going to listen to you and I'm going to carry on. And then, boom, you drop it and you move on with your day. So the second that you separate yourself, that in itself is going to make the biggest difference, the biggest impact in your day. Make sure to repeat this over and over and over again. It does take discipline, but within a few weeks, you will absolutely notice a shift. If you've made it this far and you really resonate with this type of content, please feel free to hug that subscribe button and as always, turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when my next video will come out. I release new videos every single week and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!